in case you feel like you're, you're in the rut with your soloing or your guitar sol soloing techniques, uh, here's a fun technique to experiment with. We're going to combine open strings and fourth interval. So you hit an open B string, you hammer onto the third fret of the B string, and then you plug, you pick, I meant to say, the high E string in an upstroke third fret. So you get 0, 3, 3. Then you just move on up to the fifth fret, do the same thing. Then eighth fret, then tenth fret, then twelfth fret. So you Then you could go the other way around also, where rather than hammering on, on the B string, where you hammer on the high E string, and then you play fourth underneath. The, B, the easiest way to pick this will be up, down, down, it's changing th things up a bit here. So let's say you hammer onto the 7th fret, and then pick the 6th fret on the B string. That's an augmented fourth, F, B, F, G, A, B. Still fourth in full, but augmented fourth. So we have 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 6, 8, 8. The next exercise, you hit the 10th fret on the high E string, you pull off to 0, hit the 10th fret on the B string, then do the same on the 8th fret, then with the 7th fret and 6th fret, 5, 5, 3, Pull off three, one, pull off one. So. Next exercise is on the middle two strings of the guitar, on the D and the G string. You hammer onto the G string, so you hit the open G string, hammer onto the sec uh, second fret, that is, then play second fret on the D string, so then. So zero, hammer on to four, third fret on the D string, open G string, zero, hammer in on to five, then fifth fret on the D string, and then zero, seven, seven. So you get. And then last exercise, um, you ha with fourth intervals, you hammer, so this is across all six strings now. You hammer the open, sorry, you pick, I meant to say the open E string, you hammer onto the third fret, and then you pick third fret on the A string. So you have, then do the same on the A and the D string. So you get, then open D string, hammer onto the third fret, fourth fret on the G string. So now we have, then pick open B string, hammer onto the fourth fret, play fifth fret B string, then open B string, hammer onto the third fret, and then uh, third fret on the E string. So you get. 